Hi, and welcome to another video from the CTAG clinic. My name is Dr. Mike Lloyd, and I'm the clinic director. So we've had a, a break for quite a while now as a result of uh, personal things going on behind the scene. And uh, I'd like to express some uh, appreciation and gratitude to everybody that's been very kind and understanding whilst waiting for us to start delivering content again and, and just all the thoughtful messages that have been placed on the, on the clinic channel it is very, very much appreciated. Because it's Easter, I wanted to do a video really about how difficult things can be for people with complex trauma and dissociation at this time of the year. So this affects people with trauma related memories, especially from this time of the year or from religious festivals in general, where the trauma may have been created as a result of that kind of environment. This can affect people with dissociative identity disorder, DID, other specified dissociative disorders such as OSDD and depersonalization, derealization, and dissociative amnesia. They're all affected in different ways. People can experience body sensations, body memories, body traumas that come back as intrusive flashbacks either on physical or on emotional levels where people are experiencing memories or sensations, thoughts, feelings that are coming back to haunt them as a result of the time of the year. So the trigger is the environment. It is set up as Easter everywhere. There are shops, there are adverts on TV, there are radio programs, there are so many things where people are celebrating Easter, which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but it can generate a great deal of distress for people that have trauma located at that specific time of the year. And this is something that we hear a great deal in clinic. Many, many people struggle at this time of the year as a specific reaction to it being Easter. This also functions to a lot of the other religious festivals throughout the year. Again, they can't be stopped and that's absolutely fine. They, they, you know, we, they, they can exist and they can do fine for many, many people. But for some people with trauma histories related to that is particularly difficult. It can create an increase in trauma related flashbacks and it can therefore increase the level of dissociation that people experience. And we try very hard within clinic to be understanding of this. We try and support people to ask for help, to let folks know that they're struggling, to look at the resources and the friends and the people around them and say, I'm struggling at the moment, I'm likely to struggle or I have been struggling and you might need an increase in resources in one way or another. It's also a good time to work on all those grounding strategies and techniques to locate the self in the present, to continually remind the self and the internal system, the parts, the others, the alters, that this is a time of the year that is particularly difficult but that does not mean that you're necessarily in threat. If your life now is particularly safe, there is an absence of threatening people or environments around you, then it's just about the trauma. It's the triggers that cause the problem rather than the threat. So a sort of a constant supply of reassurance towards that to continue reminding yourself that the now is safe, even though that the past is intruding on that, the now is safe. You can look at newspapers or dates or things on your phone to say, here is the time of year. Here's the date. It's Easter. It's 2023. It's many, many years since we were hurt. This now, this present is safe. And to do that as much as possible, to sort of gather the internal system, to be able to say to everybody, this is what we are going through, but we are okay. You can either do it before Easter, you can do it during, you can do it after and say, look how well we did, look what we achieved. We got through that and we were fine. It's very much an exercise in bringing everybody together and letting them know that something is going to happen, but you're going to be okay. It's like in, in the places in the United States, for example, that have these enormous storm warnings, these hurricanes, these tornadoes are going to rip through the town. Everybody knows about this. You get into the bunker, you hide yourself down and you sit there, you turn the lights on, you bring games out and you say, we're going to be OK. We will get through this. It's just a storm that's happening overhead. When it's all done, you come out, it's bright lights, it's fresh air. And you say, look how well we did. We got through that. We were not hurt. We were safe because we had things planned and prepared. So to be understanding about panic, not to be cross with alters, with internal parts, especially the young part that might be absolutely terrified, to not to push them away, to not reject, to not to deny their feelings, to be understanding, to be thoughtful and to be comforting, to bring everything together and say we are going to be okay with this. If there is an increase in flashbacks and thoughts, 
use some of the techniques that we've discussed in the past that are really good, write stuff down, say here's what we're experiencing, we'll deal with this later on. It's not necessarily a great time to deal with it in the present. You write the stuff down that's happening. You might have new memories. There might be new things coming through as a result of the time of the year. Get these things written down in a notebook, in a journal, whatever way you work, on your phone, and then come back to that ideally in therapy later on and say, here's the stuff that came up in the last couple of weeks because it was Easter to work through. The goal is to get through this as best as possible and learn ways of doing this so that next year you're well prepared so that each year that goes past there is less and less and less impact of these traumatic events. What people tend to do is they reject and they deny, they sort of hunker down and they just push everything away. Each and every year either gets worse or maintains the same level of distress. What we try to achieve is a system that a person each year can learn how to do something to negotiate the way through their internal dissociation so that each year that goes past gets better and better and better. It's a long-term deal that can be very effective. To not forget the body, so in depersonalization, in derealization, these sort of like these connections to the real world, to the self, the body, to the, the space around the home, the places that you may be, to really develop that connection to the present and locate it within the realm of safety. That's what we're trying to achieve and that can really help. It's a thing to practice. Because there are going to be these, these religious, these sort of times of year, these anniversary events, there's all, they're always going to be there. Nature of the world, they are going to be there. It's about walking towards these things and working out the way to adapt and get by and improve and increase that strength, increase that confidence to be able to deal with these things. So hopefully at some point in the future, I'll say, oh, it's going to be Easter in a couple of weeks. No big deal. I can get through that. It's fine. I know exactly how to do it and I'm going to be great. That's what we want to work towards getting everyone who has these sort of experiences into that sort of place. As always, lots of patience, lots of empathy, lots of understanding to really develop that sense of self, the identity of being OK, that I am going to get through this. We are going to get through this with resources and with the internal system to build this structure within which these sort of things do not create instability anymore. Hopefully that's been a, a helpful topic, certainly at the time of the year, but it can be used for anything. So it's going to be it's kind of like a general thing. It just happens to be Easter. We're going to continue putting the content out there again. Thank you very much for everyone's patience and understanding for the break that we've had over the last month or so because of things going on behind the scenes here. Um, we will get back to normal service as best as we can do. Thank you ever so much for your patience and uh, keep leaving the comments in the, uh, at the end of each video. It's really helpful, really love reading those things. So between now and next time, please do take great care.